pretty emotional out there for you. Um, what, what were you feeling? Well, I think this is um, the worst thing for the player, you know, to not giving the 100%, um, especially in the final, the big event. And I just couldn't run this much I normally do. And, um, well, just bad luck. Pretty frustrating. Exactly. What, maybe it just occurred today, or just that something that has bothered you for a long time? Um, actually, since few days, but I just didn't expect that it's going to be much worse today, and unfortunately it did. And well, of course I tried everything today to you know to push myself to play really uh, my hundred percent, but unfortunately um, it was too much pain. And um, I tried because this is the final, and I thought you know maybe. It's in one game was going to be better, and then I'll just keep going. But um, no, really, didn't happen. Was it immediately when you came out of the court? Was it hurting? Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, can you describe what the situation is? Is it, and what was preventing you? Was it the pain, or was it the knee was locking? Can you explain? I mean, you know, this is. Um, the sport that you're always playing with some pain or injuries or bone muscles. Um, but you know, when the pain is so big that nothing is working, no painkillers, no tape, then it means it's, it's bad. So, and today, it didn't, nothing was working. And the, is it the, the disappointment that you feel from having to be injured in the final? I mean, this is still, you know, the first final that you made here and, and a positive week in the card. Just focus on the positives or right now, do you well, I think the uh, disappointing thing is always comes first. I think, uh, especially when you really, um, have, um, you know, uh, ambition to win the tournament. Of course, still a good two weeks. Um, first final here, big event, and um, you know, still a good result. But um, it's always disappointing that you know I really couldn't play my hundred percent today. Um, well, like you're saying, it's still a couple of days um, to my first match, so of course I'll have a few days off, and then we'll see. Of course, I'll have a lot of treatment and do everything, you know, to be ready for Miami. It's still a big tournament, so I really want to try. What is the specific diagnosis? Is it a headache? Is it a Um, to be honest, I don't know yet. I'm gonna check today. Above the knee, on the knee. Um. I'm not the doctor. I didn't really um, finish the medical uh, university. I wish I could, but I didn't. Um, so, I'll, to be honest, I will check everything today, tonight, and we'll see. Hopefully, nothing serious. Just hurts a lot. Exactly. Aga, do you think compared to some of the other players who maybe hit bigger than you do, that it takes more mental focus and maybe just more effort for you to get through? Well, I mean, I still just play one three setters this tournament, so um, um, usually it's much more than that. So still a couple of quick matches till I get to the final. So um, I was feeling good. Otherwise, I was really f good and fresh, and um, I was ready to go. It's just the one thing that cannot really control, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, a few days ago. Uh, practice. When you were in pain, did you ever, during the match, did you ever think about retiring or you just hope, you know, like to push through? Well, um, of course, you always have that feeling, but I think not in the final, really. Um, I always had the hope, like, maybe it's going to be better in the second set um, or in, in a few games. Um, so I think in, in the finals you're always trying till the end. What makes you want to do that? I mean, obviously, Antonello in the early second set is going to hard to win the match. Do you still hope he's going to get better? Or is it you want to give a complete show to the fans? Or what was the issue? Yeah, well, um, I thought it was going to be a little bit better. Um, 
I had the tape stronger and stronger every changeover and I thought that's gonna help but mm, no really didn't work. Thank you. Thank you.